At least 16 soldiers have been killed and seven wounded in an armed attack on a police station in Rafah, North Sinai, on the border between Egypt and Israel. Israeli aircraft destroyed one of the armoured vehicles and four of the gunmen were killed. This footage shows the mangled remains of the vehicle. Egyptian state television reported that an Islamist militant group from Sinai was behind the attack. The Egyptian plates can be clearly seen. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and the Defence Minister Ehud Barak toured the southern border area at the site of a deadly cross-border assault. Speaking in Hebrew, he said, I suspect this will not be the last time that we are confronted with attempts to harm us. I hope this is a wake-up call to the Egyptians to be sharp and efficient on their side and the struggle along the entire border, both the western border and along the border with Gaza, against militant attempts to harm us. We will continue and I hope we will meet during more achievements of this sort, but we must also be cautious of the opposite. Barracks said it was a wake-up call to Egypt, long accused by Israel of losing its grip in the desert peninsula. The attack, which Egyptian security officials said was carried out by members of the jihadist Salafi operatives from Sinai in Egypt and Gaza, has brought to a head the relationship between the Hamas rulers of Gaza and the new Egyptian elected President Mohamed Mursi of the Hamas-aligned Muslim Brotherhood Party. In response, a Hamas spokesman said Egypt and Gaza have a mutual enemy and assured they would investigate the incident. I'm Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. For the latest news and updates throughout the day, follow me on our website at ibtimes.co.uk.